The Chicago Recovery Alliance is about assisting any positive change as a person defines it for him or herself. The Chicago Recovery Alliance offers naloxone and education about intervening successfully in opiate-related overdoses. Now there's all sorts of lore about what you do for overdoses. <laughs> to get people up and walk them around, to put ice on their genitals, to inject salt water, to stand them in a cold shower. And certainly any of those will work to help stimulate the nervous system and may help bring them around. But there is a very specific, very safe, totally effective antidote to heroin overdose. Not Loxone. The name of it is Naloxone, or Narcan, which is the brand name. It's available now in generic. Naloxone. It's been used in emergency rooms and by EMTs and paramedics for 30, 40 years. He's not dead. It's a heroin overdose. Let's break out the Narcan. Naloxone. An incredibly safe, incredibly specific treatment that specifically reverses the heroin overdose. Naloxone. A heroin overdose kills by going to a specific place in the brain, the place in the brain that tells you to keep breathing. And it turns that place off so you stop breathing. A couple of minutes without someone breathing can cause irreversible brain damage. So it's really important that it be intervened on immediately. Not Loxone. This medication specifically kicks the heroin out of the brain so that that overdose effect goes away. Not Loxone. It's one of the only, one of the only treatments in medicine that literally can't hurt anyone. The worst that's going to happen when someone's given naloxone is that they'll get dope sick. Check the expiration date. Keep naloxone and muscle syringes around whenever you're injecting. Store naloxone at room temperature and keep it away from the light. Light deactivates naloxone. Get your naloxone vial replaced after each use. Only use a new syringe to go into the naloxone vial. Always use with other people. You protect them, they protect you. When a person be ODing, they have them turn different colors, like dark blue or dark purple, like, and their lips turn their color. Their eyes go into the back of their head, and that white stuff come out their mouth. And they, yeah, and they start shivering all over. And she OD'd. I mean, she just went out, and it was like, the lips were turning blue, she wasn't breathing, she was going, her, her eyes were fluttering. She was just going in and out, and I could tell. You know that they're gone, or they're leaving. Our next minute you're waking up, and you're a little bit uh, disoriented of what's going on around you. I was scared. I didn't know what was really going on, but I knew they were dying. I remember saying, damn, this is good. You think Steven? Uh, Steven? That's for stimulation. The first Steven? thing you want to do is figure, is this person Steven? overdosed or is this just a good high? Steven? You talk to somebody, Steven if they don't respond, the test oh, physical Oh, fucking stimulation. great. If you're opiate dependent, stopping your using for even a few days increases your risk of overdose. A mixing alcohol and or cocaine or pills with heroin increases your chances of overdose. Steven, Steven. Knuckles against the sternum Steven. or in the upper lip and just rub Is them. Is he breathing? God damn it, no, his lips are all blue. See, for well, call, call for help. Should I call the ambulance? Uh, yeah, call an ambulance. The thing that kills people in heroin overdose is not breathing. A is for airway. Uh, you mouth. need to make sure there's uh, nothing obstructing someone's Steven, airway. R is asshole. for rescue breathing. Well, rescue breathing involves um, Tilting the head back. Pinch off yeah, their nose, um, seal your mouth over breathing. theirs. Breathing twice, no, I don't know. Uh, and then once every no, five um, seconds for um, someone watching 15, their chest and abdomen north. rise. Oh, e is an evaluation yeah. step. Can you keep this up yeah. indefinitely? Uh, okay, How is the person doing? Is their color getting better? Uh, are you breathing for them successfully? M is for muscle. Should I get a shot of naloxone? Uh, yeah. One cc intramuscular injection of naloxone.
you take the, the needle and you stick it into the bottle and you draw up one cc. Each of these syringes have one cc in them. These two syringes are half cc, so you would have to inject two of these in order to get one cc. 100 units in an insulin syringe equals one cc. Problem with these syringes is that the points are too small. If you have to use these syringes to inject naloxone, you should inject it into the tongue. But the best syringes to use are these. Points are all one inch or more, which is easy to get into a muscle. In the shoulder, in the thigh, are in the booty. One cc just goes to the one on each of the syringes. Don't spend your time fumbling for a vein. The seconds count here. You can just do it through his shirt. Okay. Just continue keep the rescue breathing, and then there's another period of evaluation. It takes three to five minutes for naloxone to start working. If they aren't awake and alert, they may need to get an additional shot. We suggest that after two 1 cc intramuscular shots of naloxone, and five minutes after each shot, and the person does not awake based on that, that it is not an opiate overdose, and just continue the breathing and wait for the ambulance. I think we can do another shot. Fuck. When their friend comes around, they're going to be feeling sober. They may want to use to get that sober, slightly sick feeling off. Are you okay? Where's my shit? It's important that they be uh, prevented, be talked out of doing that because that's going to just compound the overdose. Fuck, you fell out, man. We had to give you naloxone, you shithead. You're blue. When the naloxone wears off in 30 to 60 minutes, even if they haven't used again, the overdose could come back. Naloxone kicks opiates out of the brain for around an hour. Heroin lasts six to eight hours. Heroin outlasts naloxone. Methadone lasts 24 hours. Methadone far outlasts naloxone. The overdose can return after naloxone wears off. Shoot him again. All right, so we got to like hang out with you now for a couple hours because you're still on, you're still on it and you'll, you'll get high again, but you could fall out again real easily. So like we got to watch you now. Not lock zone. It's a very handy thing to use. Bagels, right? Not lock zone. It's funny because I don't think that you know I have hard time pronouncing hard. Actually, words they were too, just, that was just on the news a few months ago. It's like that Russian fucking opiate gas. That's right. The gas. Oh, you want to do that again? The reason that heroin addicts 
have not taken care of themselves is because they haven't been given the means to do so. They haven't been given the clean syringes. They haven't been given the teaching about vein care. And they haven't been given this incredibly safe, incredibly effective medication that could save lives that, to our knowledge at this point, has saved 144 lives here in Chicago. There's no quality control with heroin. People are never sure what they're using. No, when you see the O and the N and the E, and you see the one at the end of the thing, man, you know, you did, you know that's what messed you up. Yeah, I always have, always, I don't, I don't like to get high by myself. You know, usually I have John with me, the guy, see, he's always, always with me. I don't, I don't get high by myself. I was up. Call the ambulance. I was up. Call the ambulance. I was up. But I just feel like, like I've let everybody down. So we're, we are applying this overdose program to a place which has one of the best emergency medical systems in the world. It still wasn't preventing hundreds of people dying each year, and just in Cook County. So somehow we had to take the, the medical technology and bring it to people who needed it, used it. In the same way allergic people are prescribed epinephrine or insulin-dependent diabetics are prescribed glucagon in case of emergencies, uh, Dr. Maxwell prescribes naloxone. <laughs> In the booty, in the booty, in the booty, 